Hey, welcome back, Rogue Tech Pirates. So, um, Animal, once again, he's a little bit pissed off at us, but he's still doing his job. So he's down on the was down on the planet there, and he was talking to some people, and he may have found out that there's a uh, um, a pirate commander who might have location of a lost SLDF base on a system nearby. Not sure if it's legit or not, but we're going to go down to the planet and take him out and see if we can get the information from him. So we're going to go to our barracks real quick and maybe get our pilots some training before we drop. So, Animal, uh, we're going to move his gunnery up. Continue along that line. Let's confirm that. Mech warrior training complete. And then Jasper, Reporting. we're going to bring his gunnery up. As w Actually, we're going to bring his tactics? No. Let's bring his gunnery up. Let's confirm. He's not going to be piling the dagger this episode. We've got a couple of new mechs to put in, into the lineup here. So payroll. Um, I'm thinking we're going to put you here, and there's a reason for that. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's confirm this. And then Voodoo. Um, I think what we'll do with you is we're going to bring your health up a little bit. I'm not going to save it for here, but I want to bring your health up because you're going to be a little closer in the battle. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the mech base here real quick. So, uh, between episodes, between the Rogue Tech episode and this one, I was able to refit the Blackjack. Uh, and what we've done with this guy is we pulled out the Clan XL engine. So, he, you know, he got a little bit lighter, but we pulled out the heavier engine, put it in a lighter engine, and we retooled him slightly. Uh, kept the ECM, kept the energy uh, weapon to hit, added in a PPC on one side and three medium lasers on the other. He's pretty much heat neutral right now, which is great, 63, 65. Almost full armor, which is awesome. So we're going to give this mech to... Um, we're going to give this mech to um, Payroll, so she can pilot that one as the commander of the Lance, and sort of sit back and pick guys off at a distance. And then the Vindicator, uh, we're going to shift to Voodoo, I believe. And then the Firestar... Actually... We'll shift the, uh, let me figure it out when we're ready to go in the lance. But with the fire starter, we were able to, with all the um, triple plus flamers that we were able to pull off the blackjack, we were able to, to reconfigure the the, uh, the um, fire starter to be three triple plus flamers, a flamer with extra accuracy. We still have the two vehicle flamers, but I was able to add a tag and make it perfectly heat efficient, which is awesome. So this guy's ready for battle. So we're just going to get right into the battle here. Just going to drop our lance and go. So I'll see you guys on the surface. Okay, so here we are. And we're on the ground. Now, we heard that this pirate has a lair up in the mountains here, up in the hills. And it looks like we've got some contacts up ahead. So it looks like this is the right place. And we've also learned that this pirate that might have this information also um, has a bounty on his head. So I'm thinking that if we take this guy alive, maybe we can pump him for information and then turn him over for a bounty. So we're going to go that route. Now we're going to reserve back, I think, to Turb 3. Now I've also heard, too, that he's piloting a heavy mech. So I'm a little bit worried about entering into combat with this guy. So we're going to have to make this a quick uh, in and out if we can. Let's move. So I don't know what his lance, if he's with another lance here, what he's got as for friends. So we're gonna have to take these guys out really quick before we engage with him. If he's got a heavy, if he's got a heavy mech, I think we've got the firepower, but I don't know here. So we switched out our piloting slightly. We, we put payroll in the uh, blackjack, like I said we were gonna do, and then I put uh, voodoo in the vindicator. Um, Animal is gonna stay in the panther because he's got multi-target. Um, I want to be able to split up those missile racks if we have to. And then Jasper we put in the um, fire starter. He's our hit and run guy anyway, so... Yes, Commander. All right. So we got one light mech up ahead. And definitely one heavy. So that could be a problem. I have no idea what we're up against here. Okay, um, Jasper. So this is the heavy mech. Let's find out what we're up against here. Are you kidding me? It's a Marauder. Heavy Gauss rifle and two heavy PPCs. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh 
oh, we have to kill this guy fast. We can't even shoot him. We can shoot him with the tag. Hit him with the tag, please. Yeah, you're panicking. I don't blame you. <laughs> no, it didn't. I think we got to stay back here and just fire from the from a distance. I think if we get too close, this guy's going to kill us badly here. I'm uh, just going to fire away. Maybe we get a head hit on him. I don't know. So this isn't the target we're after. It's his buddy with a marauder. So a medium mech. That looks like a 15 rack, so it's probably a trebuchet. We don't know the weight of this guy. Good to go. So let's just move over where we can see the marauder. And we're going to open up on him with the uh, PPC. 40% chance to hit. Please hit. Please hit. With target. Nope. To yeah, and I'm panicking. Yeah. We may have to rebuild this pirate lance after this <laughs> after this mission. It's a good thing we have extra max, 50% chance to hit with the PPC. Okay, good. Connected with something there. At least if he shoots, we'll be able to do full damage on him next turn. Ow. I'm losing weapon system. Yeah, you're losing more than that, buddy. Okay, at least there's only three guys up here. Jasper, you need to get the hell out of there. Actually, you're going to move last. So, Animal, let's get you back a little bit. 50% chance if we move forward a little bit. 63. We can fire with the pulse lasers, too. Let's just get in there. Open up with everything on this guy. Oh, you missed with the pulse. Really? These guys are just content to let this guy do all the work. I don't blame them. So light mech moving around. Not even sure what he's doing back there. What? Ow. Okay, you need to run. And run fast. At least we put... <laughs> at least I put that, that uh, pirate cockpit in that guy. Oh, man. This is not good. Confirmed. <sighs> Let's hope we hit. All weapons fire. Okay, fusion core crit. Nice. How'd that taste? He's unstable. So they're going to go now. They're probably going to shoot on Jasper. Nope. Okay, splash that damage. And Voodoo, let's get you in. I'm only walking because if I sprint, I'm never going to hit these guys. And I know it gives them a better chance to hit me, but... Come on, knock him down. Another crit to the fusion core. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god, that was totally worth it. I'm sorry, but I would never have bailed out of that Marauder. Okay, you can only walk, so we're going to walk you over here. Um, we're going to turn the side like this. Yes, Commander. And we're going to brace here. I'm scared now to find out what this guy is. He's a heavy mech, so I'm a little worried about that. So let's get in on this guy. Let's get some sprinting going. It's all going to be bad targeting, so let's get closer. Let's get some... Um, it's a hunchback. With the LRM-20. Reduced armor. Okay, that's good. Firing everything on him. Okay, good. I think I hit something good. I think you did, too. Here comes their light mech. The Jenner RX with all those LRMs. Now, how much armor does this guy have? Because I think we can probably kill him this turn. We don't have to worry about these stupid LRMs. He's got like six LRMs, I think. Light damage. No, you're almost unstable, buddy. It's not light damage. Yeah, he's got next to no armor. Okay, so uh, we're going to reserve Jasper. Because if this guy gets close enough, I want to be able to burn him. 
could probably shoot Jasper. Nope. Hit with the medium lasers. That really stinks. Yeah, I know. Relax. Yeah, I know. You'll be able to move before this guy next time, so I'm going to move you up. Going to try to get this guy a little toasty. Vehicle flamer hit. That's good. Plus 74 heat. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot this guy does increased flamer output, too. It's awesome. Okay, so we want to get payroll first, I think. We really want to kill that Jenner. So let's move him up. Move her up, that is. And get right on this Jenner. Let's hopefully we, let's hope we kill him. Right torso gone. Not a kill, but removes all the evasion. We can follow up with uh, Voodoo here. Just going to walk it up. And we're going to fire on the Jenner again, get rid of it, hopefully. Oh, come on, you can't miss. I'm terrified of what that heavy uh, that heavy mech is now. Okay, Jasper, I told you you were going to move first. That's what you're going to do. We're moving back over here. Going to fortify back there. This guy's decided he still wants to fight. Okay. Fair enough. That's fine. Oh, you kidding me? Good to go. Oh, we need to walk. We need to walk. But where? Um, so our right side is still pretty good here. So let's turn our right side to the hunchback. Walk over here. And we're going to target the Jenner this time and fire everything. Got the leg. So there's a knockdown. Not enough for a kill, unfortunately. Yep. So the hunchback's going to back up, it looks like. It's not liking that extra heat, it looks like. Okay, cool. So let's try and burrow through his side. Ready for orders. Gonna walk it up here. Location confirmed. And we're gonna shoot straight through this guy's side. I'm not gonna worry about that Jenner for right now. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. A little bit unsettled. Let's get payroll in there. Right up to where we can see this guy. Okay, not a bad chance to hit. Glad we're in the water here, it's really helping out. Nice. Okay. Left leg destroyed. Left arm, left torso. Knockdown for another pirate in <laughs> pilot injury. Pilot injury. Okay, so now we go before both of these guys. Oh man, I don't. I'm terrified now. What that heavy mech is. At least he's not closing on us. As long as he doesn't close on us right away, we're okay. So we're going to unload everything on this guy. What's his CT got left? 35. I don't really care about the Jenner. We're going to try and CT him and kill him. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Okay, so we don't have to worry about him now. Target eliminated. Animal. Time for some retribution, buddy. Moving to position. Don't care about this hunchback either. Let's just unload on him. Go for the CT, please. I, wanna, I don't want to clutter up the loot table with uh, hunchback parts when we got the Marauder. Okay, perfect. Mech destroyed. So we did pretty good. Four mediocre pilots. We're going to reserve right back to turn zero. Get all our stability back and everything. Here comes that guy. So uh, now I have to figure out where we're going to fight him. So normally on this map, I'll crest this hill. I'll come up behind and hide behind the hill, wait for them to get close, and then crest the hill, get into the trees, and then do what I'm going to do. But I'm wondering if we should get him to crest first, because he's up on a hill over there. Um, I'm going to reserve back to turn one and see what he does here. Moving slowly. Reporting. Um. Got to keep that right side to him. Brace in here. Yes, Commander. Uh, we're gonna sprint up, staying over here. Copy that. 
He's still a good distance away. So I think we're going to do what I normally do. We're going to crest. We're going to be behind the hill, and as soon as he gets close, we're going to crest and attack him in one turn. Yeah. Um. If we can put enough firepower down on him. How are we doing for resolve here? Three per turn. We're thirty per thirty-eight percent. Let's reserve past where he's going. See which path he's taking. He's moving really slow, which has got me really worried. Um, maybe it's a warhammer. Awaiting orders. Maybe it's a warhammer. I want you to stay there for now. Roger that. Uh, payroll. Gonna walk over just in case he can see us. Let's walk and brace. Animal, same thing. Let's get down here. Moving forward. And brace. Voodoo. Down into the gully and brace. And we're going to reserve past them again. I think it's two more turns and we'll be able to engage. He's moving real slow. I have no idea. He's probably walking and bracing. So... We're going to reserve right back to turn zero again. Roger. Going to brace. Lighting. So two lights and two mediums against the heavy. I think we've probably got a good chance. Okay, he's in the open now. So let's get uh, Jasper yes, over here, please. I, understand. I think we're ready to go. So next turn... I need Jasper on him right away. So we're going to reserve, let him move first. I want to be able to fire twice on this guy before uh, he's able to do anything. He's backing it up. He knows what we're about to do. You know what's coming, buddy, don't you? Oh, you can see. And that was a goss something or other. All right, well, payroll, you're in the front. You go first, please. Let's get into the trees. So right down in here. Actually, we don't want to be too close to that PPC. Let's go over here a little bit. Copy that. And it's another Marauder. Oh, God. The same kind, with full armor. Oh, my God. Here we go. A primary target is taking damage. Yeah, you think? Reporting. Oh, God. Uh, animal. Get into the trees, please. Acknowledged. Yeesh, let's just fire. I don't even know what we're going to do here. I think we're going to have to get in a point-blank range with this guy. Yes, Commander. Actually, you know what? I think we might be okay. If we're going to go twice, we might be able to shut him down with flamers, and if we do that, then it's all over for him. We in flamer range? Barely. Vehicle flamer. Come on, you got a hit. You missed. Damn it. Yeah, I saw that. Should have been a little closer. And you cannot get into cover. Oh, man. At least we got full evasion. Don't know if it's going to help against this guy, though. Okay, PPC hit. He's unsteady. See if we can get a knockdown on him, guys. Uh, Jasper, I want you in there first. Let's get him point blank. And load with everything, please. Are you kidding me? <sighs> God. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Gotta knock him down, man. Let's go, animal. Knock his ass down. Ready for orders. Now, here's the question Do we go for a knockdown? Or do we go for a headshot? Let's get the knockdown, I think. Knockdown, there it is. Okay, that's really going to help. Three or four. Alright, we've got a good chance to take this guy out. I just wish I had more salvage out of this, but anyway. Got a chance to get some router parts. 
Let's go after the head. Fire everything. Alright, so all you can do pretty much is stand up this turn. See what he decides to do here. Oh, thank God. So now the question is, what salvage do I take out of this? Heavy Gauss rifles would be nice. Let's get right up behind this guy. Torch him. Let's get him nice and toasty. Tag hit. 96 heat. He's panicking. Okay, animal, let's make him panic some more. Uh, now is the time where we walk over here. Now is the time for a called shot. Our offensive push. Let's go for a headshot here. Make him even more nervous. Come on, buddy. You know you want to bail out. Bail out. Bail out anytime. Anytime you want to bail out. Feel free to. Uh, just going to fire straight on him. Unsteady. Payroll moving over again. Fire everything on him. Come on, knock him down. No, oh, nice. Another knockdown. Yes! Two Marauders, two bailouts. That was an awesome mission. Okay, so that pilot bailed out. That was awesome. So we were able to increase our, our the money we are... Um, able to sell their research by because we got a couple of pilot bailouts so we were able to, to uh, squeeze them for some money and got some information on where we need to go so let's have a look at what we got here damage wise the fire starter took a little bit of damage but that was a good trade off I think we lost one of our triple plus flamers and a vehicle flamer we do have replacements for the vehicle flamer and we do have another flamer we can drop in that's just a regular plus flamer with plus five heat damage so we didn't lose too much on that, which is really, really good. Um, the rest of the mechs came out okay. Uh, Animal took a head hit, but these guys have earned a, uh, you know, a uh, um, well-deserved rest after this. So check this out. Hunchback, Jenner part, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 Marauder parts sitting on the battlefield. Too bad I can't choose them, but <laughs> they're there. Heavy Goss rifles. Are you kidding me? Definitely going to take one of those. I don't want the heavy PPCs. Let's put them both in there. What else do these guys have? Look at this. Triple plus mounted arm weapons. I'm wondering if that's actually a better... If we take one of these and a triple plus mounted accuracy weapon. Because right now the Goss Heavy can really only go in our Hunchback. But look at all this. XL engines. They're not Clan XL, so I wouldn't really uh, be using them. Gyro look, look, look at look at heating pods. Proto double heat sinks. Oh, one slot for... Oh my god, look at all this. I had no... Th this was a two-skull mission. I had no idea it was going to be this good. Uh, I'm thinking... That bonus to hit, though. Another LRM. Uh, that's nothing. I don't know, man. Do I keep... I'm going to... Just one heavy goss, and I'm going to take one of those arm mounts. I know it's people are going, no! But I we can only really use one of those heavy gosses, but one of these is going to have immediate impact on a lot of my... or one of my units. So, going to go this route, I think. See what else we get here. We only got two Marauder parts, but out of eight uh, items we could receive, got a cooling pod too, a couple of LRM5s, no big deal. So we made out pretty good on that one, um, and we made really good cash on that. So Okay, so 63,000 in repairs, that seems like a lot, but since we made over 600,000, you know, that's really nothing, especially in comparison to what we got. Financial report comes out, 463,000, not a big deal. We made enough on that mission to be able to cover our repairs and cover our operating expenses for the month. So that's excellent. So let's accept this. 
So when we come back, the next episode, will it be in a new system? Because the next episode will be in, will be a Rogue Tech episode, and we're going to move to a new system. So the next Pirate Lance episode will be in a new system, and this Lance is going to make an attempt at um, trying to use the information that we squeezed from that uh, pirate that we just took down today to uh, find some more um, parts for our KF drive that we're working on building into the Argo. So, yeah, until next time, that was a pretty awesome mission. I'm pretty excited. That was great. Two, uh, <laughs> two Marauders in one mission with a Light Lance. That's awesome. Okay, so I'll see you next time.